If you're interested in home automation, I bet you've seen this device before. It's a Sonoff Basic Switch. Yay, a home automation device for just five bucks. A year ago, I bought three of them. Since then, I have automated everything in my house. But I ended up using just one of these little fuckers. Let's see what's the problem with this design and what good it can offer us. This is actually a pretty useful product for somebody who likes to build some shit but appreciates a hassle-free solution. It's cheap and combines all of these modules in one good-looking white package. So here we have a power supply, an ESP Wi-Fi chip and a relay module. And that is very convenient! Not because of the overall low cost, since separately these modules are also very cheap, but because you don't need to hassle around with building something like that to just control a light. So what's wrong with this design? Well, a lot actually. That who came up with this design has absolutely no fucking clue about what means practicality. First of all, to install this little thing, you need to cut a high voltage power cable in half. I'm pretty good with electricity, but most of us are shit scared of high voltages. Because being scared of powerful things can save your life. Don't get yourself free electroshocked subscribe to my channel right now. I'm not sure if this device was meant to be sold to regular consumers, but anyways, those are the ones buying it. And I think even the guys at Sonoff got this at some point and created this thing which does not require scissoring high voltage power cables. But of course, the price tag is twice as much. <laughs> you do need to pay more for not getting killed while slashing high voltage power cables. Well, how you use a Sonoff switch? Download an app! Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate that they made an app, but yeah, that's, that's exactly what is missing from my life, another app on my phone. And of course, this home automation app is just useless. I did give it a try and it's just questionable. You need to give them your information, they probably gather all kinds of data about you. For example, they can identify the time when you usually leave your house and maybe sell that information to some technologically advanced crafty bandits like this fella here. And if you want to use this device in a real home automation system, you need to do some magic tricks with linking that app to Alexa or Google Assistant. So, to be able to integrate this device into something respectable like a home assistant, you need to flash it with another firmware. And at this point, 99% of us say fuck it and just put this shit somewhere on a shelf and leave it there forever. Luckily, I enjoy messing around with electronics. So I bought a serial to USB converter and was able to flash this device with ESP Home firmware. You can also flash this with Tasmota, but I prefer ESP Home because it's just much more diverse for my needs. Now, what we can actually do with this thing without modifying it? Well, just one thing, switch high voltage power on and off. Can I use that to switch, for example, 12 volt DC power? No, because the relay inside this thing is permanently connected to high voltage. Now, this device has an ESP Wi-Fi chip. That chip has GPIO pins for all kinds of switching and sensing applications. And a half of those pins are wasted on this stupid button and even more useless LED light. Can we access those pins without violating this little thing? No. So is there anything good about this? Yes, if you have a light, like a lamp that stands somewhere on a cabinet, this is perfect for controlling that and maybe even a fan to cool you down while you try to figure out what to do with this fucking thing you bought free of. Can I use that with a light fixture on my ceiling? Which is the most common way of having some light in a house. Nah, because those lights are wired inside the walls. You can't put your son off inside your fuse box with this genius adapter plate product. But messing with a fuse box is just plain stupid and definitely is more dangerous than slashing a power cable from a night lamp. Now take a look at the marketing of some of those sneaky fuckers who sell these things. Let your water boiler auto start in the morning. Drink a cup of warm water. Uh, fuck, I'm not gonna even read the rest of that nonsense about fucking drinking hot water in the morning. Have you seen a water boiler that does not have a switch? I hope these geniuses are not suggesting that I should take an ancient coil heater like that, put that thing in a glass of water before I go to sleep, place that extremely dangerous setup on my kitchen table, and by using a Sonoff, save about 30 seconds in the morning. 
because that would just change my life. Sure, probably, burn my house and leave me homeless. Now, this version I have here has the possibility to receive RF signals from a fob like this, which is kinda super unnecessary if you have a home automation system that uses the Wi-Fi signal, but I guess there could be some situations when having this function is needed, so it's cool. Otherwise, it's just a Sonoff basic switch. So you may ask me, dude, if you bought three of them and used two of those as paperweights, where is the third one? Here is the one and only application I could think of for this device. Now I have a massive home automation system by now. I can use any wall switch in my house to control anything. But when I sit on my couch, I can only control that with my phone. And my phone is not the fastest fucking thing. To use home assistant, I need to wait like 3 seconds for my phone to actually open that app in the background. So when I sit on my ass in the dark and want to see where the hell I did just put my beer, I want to access the living room lights very fast. 3 fucking seconds is just too much to wait for a beer. So for a life-saving application like that, I decided to use the old TV remote. I took an infrared sensor like this and mounted that to one of the Sonos and installed that behind my TV. As you can see, it looks very nice, it's almost invisible. Imagine if I would have this mess somewhere in my living room, my wife would just kill me. So that's the only place in my house when having a Sonoff Basic was actually suitable for. Still I had to modify it a lot, putting the sensor in, flashing and... Uh, 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 uh. So why don't I use it anywhere else? Well, almost all of those places in my house where I need an ESP Wi-Fi chip usually have different switches, relay modules and sensors and, and whatnot located in one place. So I need to have a lot of available inputs and outputs on the ESP chip. And also in some places I need to use different voltages. For example, dimming a 12V LED light. So it's a much better idea to use one ESP board like this and just put together a Pandora's box like that and hide that shit somewhere in the closet. Now all the things I said here are my opinions. I'm sure many of you enjoy this device and consider it a $5 lifesaver. Actually, I would appreciate it if you would tell me where in your house you found this device useful. Put that in the comments. Subscribe to my channel right now to see my next video about random electrical whatever. Please hit that like button. And thanks a lot for watching me mumble in my dungeon.